Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to take a look at uh, C++ being implemented in Google Colab and specifically uh, just make reference to the fact that the boost libraries, the C++ boost libraries can be implemented uh, in Google Colab. I have a snippet of code from the option pricing area. Uh, it was originally developed by Fabrice uh, Rua and it was for pricing a specific type of uh, uh, option. So European and American options that took account of uh, skew and kurtosis, which can be important when we're looking at uh, non-normality in stock price returns. Um, and we've, we have a strong view about non-normality and we have a measure of kurtosis and skewness in the return, then we can integrate that using um, Edgeworth binomial trees, which was developed by um, Rubenstein, Rubenstein 1998. Now I've left the link uh, to the original paper somewhere in here. Um, and I'll leave that in it below in the, uh, below the video, a link to that paper. Um, and I will leave a link also in the video below um, the uh, the video as well. So just to see how it works then, um, to implement the code, again, the code is from Fabrice, um, but the original model from Rubenstein 1998. And we just have to, if you're running a snippet of C++ code, just make sure you have that double percentage sign, write file main.cpp, we run that. Okay, and then we can come down. We won't immediately get any output. We should get a value for the European call, European put, American call, American put. Um, for the snippet of code, uh, the parameter inputs are the stock price is 30, K is equal to 25, R is 5, T is equal to uh, six months, volatility is 30%. And N is 100 steps in the tree. So it's a relatively, uh, it's not a very dense tree, right? Um, so we've executed a code. We don't see the C output. To get the output, the second three lines of code are necessary here. So script, so to, to output the workings of the main CPP file, we hit this three lines of code. And then we get the value of the European call American call, European put, and American put. In this instance, the uh, put is a little bit more valuable. The American put is a little bit more valuable than the American, uh, European put. And the American call is a little bit more valuable than the European call. Okay. Uh, main thing to note though, is we're running, if you look here, we're able to implement the boost library, right? And the boost library then has productivity um, pick up, which can be important for C++. Um, there's a link here explaining a little bit some of the benefits of using um, um, the, the boost library in C++. This is from 2018. Um, and also I think there is um, uh, another link here. Um, also, let me just check that again. Okay, so there's a full outline of the benefits that you get having arbitrary precision data type, um, multi-precision float, um, so on. So there's uh, that's something you can have a look at. Also, the paper is the link here. So the, the, the original Edgeworth, if you're interested in Edgeworth binomial trees, this was published in the Journal of Derivatives in 1998. And um, the paper and the development of the paper, which is quite intuitive, is provided here. Um, and um, uh, you can take advantage. Okay, we'll leave it there.